Guys, that's it. I've officially moved in to my Cambridge room for the last time in six years. I think I finally got the hang of it. I'm starting my final year of medicine here at Cambridge. So today I will be moving most of my stuff into my Cambridge room. I have packed up my clothes and all the books and things like that that I want to take and put most of them in my car already. And I'll just be driving up to Cambridge and settling in. I will be doing my written finals in December. So it will be really important to have a nice cozy space to study from, like a really nice base. I'm currently on placement in Stevenage. It's actually such a beautiful sunny day. Blue skies all around. And I just made myself some bacon butties, is that what you call them? I don't know, like bacon sandwiches and a classic cup of tea. Feeling a bit peckish, so I thought I would eat a mini cucumber just before I drive off. It's so warm today and I made the mistake of wearing all that, <laughs> so paying the price now. <laughs> Got all my luggage in the back and I'm heading off now to move into my new Cambridge room. As clinical medical students, we often have to drive to placements, which is why I have a car with me. <laughs> Whoops, that fell down. So here we are, finally in the accommodation. I've got my suitcase and I'm heading up. I've got a bunch of other stuff still in the car, but I will grab that later after popping into my room. So I start by clearing the car, bringing up all of my various hundreds of bags into my room to get ready to unpack. Okay, I'm a little bit out of breath and I'm a bit shiny, <laughs> more than a bit shiny, but I've moved everything up. I've also got my plants. So after six years of medical school and moving in and out countless times, I've kind of learned that taking little bags like these really handy like long lasting bags that you can get from the supermarket <laughs> is actually kind of the way to go because you can fold them and they pack down really compact unlike a big suitcase which you would have to like stack up somewhere so usually i quite like just chucking my stuff into the bag it's really super quick and i found that's for me the least friction way to move in and out of accommodation <laughs> so now the actual unpacking begins i'll try to film some of the process so i'll bring you along so I start by setting up all of my furniture and also putting a little blanket over the seats in my room just to make it a bit more cozy and then I pop up some of my decorations including a photo of my time in chapel choir and also my matriculation photo. I also put up this picture of a leopard which I absolutely love because it reminds me to focus in on my goals and the things I care about with this kind of determination. So now I've settled in a little bit, I've decided to mist my plants. They're looking a little bit dry after the journey, uh, so they could do with a bit of a drink, I think. I love having plants in my room. It just brings a little bit of life and greenery and vitality to my otherwise very beige college room. And now I'm just setting up my bookshelf. I have brought a couple of my favorite books from home and I'm just stacking them up along with some medicine textbooks that I've already put on the bottom shelf. All done. So I put all my books on the bookshelf. I am just about to fold up all of the bags that I've used and just store them away. So I'll show you how I do that. Then after folding, I like to put them all in another bag so it becomes sort of like bagception, I guess. And, and I just slot them in. So you end up with a fairly neat bag in a bag kind of system. So this means instead of having a bunch of big suitcases, I just have this bag 
with many bags in it. I do always bring one small suitcase with me just in case I want to go traveling anywhere for or like for a weekend trip. But the best bit is I can put my bags in a bag in the suitcase. So it's super compact. I am unpacking the last suitcase of clothes and just popping them into my drawers. Finally, I'm setting up my very beloved Somnio, which is my light wake-up alarm. Okay, I've just about unpacked everything now. I am so tired, <laughs> it's really late now. So I'm gonna call it a night and head to bed now. I'm going to put up my posters and a couple of other bits tomorrow. So it's time to get changed into my PJs and snuggle down. I start my morning routine, which includes some morning meditation. I've got my meditation blanket and I usually like to kind of wrap it around me to create a little pouch to, to put my hands in, which makes me feel very snug while I'm meditating. Then I head to the college hall to eat breakfast, which is a full English breakfast that they prepare every morning in college. I love going to hall for breakfast because it's always really peaceful. It's just such a great way to start the day and it's just something to look forward to in the morning really, which I think is so important. Then I decide to crack on with decorating my room. I've got some fake ivy to stick up around my door and on my walls just to bring a little bit of freshness to the otherwise very yellow painted walls. <laughs> So I've got dressed and I'm going to finish decorating my room a little bit. I have brought my plants to the window just so that they can get some of their daily dose of sunshine. Okay, now for the poster. It's kind of huge and I'm not really sure how I'm going to manage this on my own. Usually, <laughs> usually I have help, but that's the spot where it's going to go. And yeah, I'll try to put it up. So I've got some trusty command strips over here that I just bought. Hopefully these will help me get this poster up. They're really small and my poster is really huge. So I'm not sure they can, they'll be able to hold it up. What do you reckon? Is it gonna work? I'm not sure it is. Now for the moment of truth, we'll see if it goes up. And now here's a montage of me struggling to put up this poster with any competency. Oh, it's just curling. I've actually had this poster since my first year. I've put it up every single year. So it's become a bit of a staple in my room. Does that, does that look good? Time for some final finishing touches, a little bit more ivy. I decide to be a bit creative with the space and try to stick some onto the ceiling with questionable results. <laughs> Probably looks stupid as well. It does look stupid. <laughs> After all that hard work, I decide to treat myself with a little yoghurt snack and so I settle down, enjoy the view and snack away. So this is essentially just uh, some plain Greek yoghurt with some banana and a pack of blueberries as well, just for some vitamins and healthy goodness in the morning. I absolutely love my new room, it's actually probably my favourite room my whole time that I've been in Cambridge so far. This is probably the room that I've liked the most. I'm not sure whether it's because it's actually like the best room that I've ever been in, or if it's just because I'm so much better at creating my own space in a room, just because I've done it so many times now. It just feels so cozy, I love being here. And in terms of like top tips for moving in and making a room feel cozy, bring some items that feel like they're part of your identity. So for me, these pictures back here, this is of me in chapel choir. This is of my matriculation year. And I also have a postcard and some other bits over there. And also for me, I really love plants. If I have plants in my room, I immediately feel so much more positive and just better about, <laughs> about my room. And just kind of making it your own a little bit. Put in the time at the start of term to put up some posters or like some fake ivy <laughs> or anything like that that just makes it feel a little bit more personalized because it will pay off in the long run and you will appreciate 
the work that you put in, put in at the start. I think earlier on in my first year, I kind of thought, oh, what's the point of me putting up all these posters when I'm just going to have to take them down again in like two months or something when I move out at the end of term. But actually when I did make the effort, it was definitely worth it. I'll give you a little quick spin around my room just to see the transformation from before and after. Otherwise, I guess this is it. I've, I've officially moved into Cambridge for the last time in my university career. The heat is rising, the time is melting from my fingertips. So oh, nothing compares to this, nothing ever will compare to this. You and I making fire, I can take ya. I really like my new space and I'm really looking forward to my final year of medicine here at Cambridge. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to be vlogging a bit more of my experience of my final year of medicine. So stay tuned for that. This is Danny the duck. He just makes me smile whenever I see him, which is pretty much why I keep him around. So he earns his keep. <laughs>